There's a lot of talk about how to properly mount a propeller. Years ago I had a manual that showed how to properly clock the propeller on the engine, but I can't find that. And I've been looking all around for the information for years and uh, finally found uh, a uh, manual for the propeller I have that told exactly how to mount the propeller correctly. This was a borrowed propeller with a 49 inch pitch. Mine's a 46 inch pitch. So I had it re-pitched to 49 inches because it's more appropriate for my application. Okay, now one of the things you do is lift up and check the integrity of the engine mounts. And then you inspect them vis visibly also. And now you take a compression tester hose and put it in your mouth to find top dead center. Don't tell your wife you're doing this, by the way. You want top dead center on number one. Now some will argue that on a four cylinder you want the prop to be horizontal. Uh, my instructions say all props should be at 10 o'clock, 5 o'clock at top dead center with the number one blade at the top at the number one position. at. Uh, on the left. If your propeller doesn't have a one or two stamped on it, the instructions say that you use the side that's the serial number is blade number one. Now double check to make sure that your timing mark is in the right position on the ring gear. Otherwise remove the ring gear and rotate it to the right position. Now take a piece of emery, very fine and go around on the uh, ring gear and make sure there's nothing sticking out or any debris or oil or anything on there that's not supposed to be. Also on the crankshaft flange and the propeller. Now mount the rear bulkhead in place and make sure that it's clocked properly so that when you put the spinner on it lines up with the bolt holes. And I've got number one blade is going to go this way and I have it marked number one going that way. Now it says to mount the propeller 60 degrees in the direction of the engine rotation from vertical with number one at top dead center, which puts the number one blade at 10 o'clock position. So I've got the propeller snugged up with a couple bolts. At this point, you put something down here with the prop vertical and you draw a line where the prop is. Then you rotate it around. I go backwards because there's no chance of it firing when you go backwards. And then you see how the other blade lines up with your mark. And then you draw a line. And you measure the gap. It has to be 62 thousandths or less. My lines were almost touching, so I'm not even going to measure. Don't forget your forward bulkhead. Don't ask me why I said that. Point it in the right direction.
and the bolts go in dry. You do a dry torque. Unless otherwise specified. When you're using a torque wrench, use a crisscross pattern and bring it up slowly a little bit at a time. And I've seen a lot of guys, they just yank it, they just go on there and they'll go, ah, yeah, yeah, that's good. What you do, come up like this, bring it up slow. When you hear it click, back off and do it again. And keep doing it until you don't have any more rotation. I'm still getting rotation. There. Then this one. All the way around. Every propeller I've ever installed, they want 30 foot pounds. It'd be 360 inch pounds. I'm just going around and checking them all. All right, props all torqued properly and on in the right position. Both bulkheads are in place, safety wired. What's next, a spinner? Nope. Balance the propeller. But there's a lot of other videos on balancing, so I don't need to do that.